they say it happened right after a shower. He had to schedule appointments to get a haircut. Wow, how terrifying. <laughs> I'm sorry this had to happen in your own neighborhood, boss. But I got somebody drawing up the description right now. And another guy's coming with some notes about no money. need. Huh? Why not? Because I already know who it is. Okay, who? It's that no good neighbor Charles. He's been acting suspicious here lately. I even followed him home last night. He's the only one that didn't have an alibi. Wait, the murder happened last night. So if you're following home, wouldn't you murder be an alibi? Let's book them, boys. Yeah, uh, so it turns out Charlie was innocent. Oh, my bad. Huh. Of course, if it wasn't Charles, it had to be Daryl. Who the hell is Daryl? He's the only other black guy in the community. It had to be him. Wait, are you racially profiling right now? No, not really. But I have a gut instinct about this. My gut's usually right. Well, it hasn't been right so far. Look, all I'm saying is we should wait a bit. It's 100% terrible, boys. Before Let's we just start them. blaming people. Huh. Guess that was one of the few times my gut was wrong. Look, if uh, we start drilling more wrong people, I'm going to have to start assuming you're the killer at some point. What? Why would you say that? Unless... Unless what? What other nonsense can possibly Unless spew from your mouth? You're the killer. What? I've been with you for the past two weeks. Unfortunately, how could I be the killer? Then explain why you've been trying to protect all the suspects this entire time. Because I'm trying to stop you from locking up innocent people until we have enough evidence to actually investigate. No, bro. You've been acting way too suspicious. Let's lock him up, boys. Let's lock him up. Lock him lock up. Him He's up, an idiot. Boys. 100% no, he's a killer. 100% you, you're an idiot. I don't They're care. We you. got you. 